Hey there, today we're gonna learn how to use the Leonardo AI. So without much ado, let's get straight into the video. And firstly, you need to head over to this website, leonardo.ai. If you don't have an account, consider signing up. Once you log into your account, a menu like this will open up for you. So let's go through each of these options first and foremost. Here you have your home where you will find recently posted arts. You can narrow them down by trending or new. And above that you have points which you will use to create your own artworks. And you can upgrade it if you wish to add more points to your account. But I think the 150 points every day which you get after every 24 hours they reset is good enough if you are not making art constantly using this app. Next we have community feed where you can see other people's stuff and you can like them you can also view them in full screen if you press on any artwork you can also find related or similar images below that next we have personal feed where all the artworks which we will be creating comes up here in the personal feed section then we have training and data sets basically data sets are models which we will train in order to make images similar to what we need so like if you want something like a coloring pages book, you need to upload images of coloring pages and then train a model. Then you will use that model to make your own images. Okay, in order to create your own model, you need to come here on training and datasets and click where it says new dataset. Then you need to give it a name like I will say my new dataset and the description to describe the contents and you have to name it and give the description of exactly what are you going to use it for but since this is just an example to show you I'm just gonna add random names so please be careful with that so I will just add the same description as the name and create dataset once the dataset has been created simply click here and select up to 30 or 40 images the more the better and as I have selected those images once they are successfully uploaded all you have to do is click here where it says train model and there you have to give it a name a description and instance prompt like whatever it is going to include like for example here it says a character and once you have given them the description and everything simply click on start training and you will have your model ready just like i have here which is my coloring pages and i've used it to create several cool images like this and lots of other images and here we have image generation where we will be using the models to generate our images so first and foremost let's have a look here as you can see there is a prompt generation button here you basically have to write anything which comes to your mind like what you need for the artwork let's just say I want a fantasy background with dragons and if I click on ideate it will generate some new prompts for me which I can use let's see which one of these is good enough I think I'll go with this one if I press on the generate button it is going to generate some art for me but as you can see I use the coloring book model which is not what I want for something like a fantasy artwork so I'm gonna use some other model I would go with Leonardo diffusion or either absolute reality so let's try that again and our images are being processed so we can view them later let's try this one with this model as you can see I have created some arts and as I did that my points are used up so I have around 110 points remaining so be careful with that like how you use your points only generate images which you really really need so you don't end up using all of your points and then when you want to generate something else you don't have anything left and if you go back to your personal feed here you can see are some of the images we have just generated using this AI generation image and we have also used our own data set on these images if I reload this again you can see some other examples have been generated as well by using one of the models 
which is provided to us by Leonardo AI. Like I use this absolute reality from here. And if I also show you another example like Dream Shaper, we can also use that. It is a really good model. At this point, I am just basically trying to create some fantasy world. <laughs> Let's just go with this. And as I click generate, it is going to generate the images for me. Also, by the way, you can choose the number of images which you want it to generate. You can either keep it one or two or eight of them. Each of these images you generate takes around five points from you. So four of them will take 20. As you remember, we had 110 points before and now we have 90 left. Now, if we go back to our personal feed, here we will find our newly generated images after it has processed them. So as I reloaded the page here, the new images have been generated and they are just loading up. As you can see, these are some really stunning looking images. Like look at these results. Also, by the way, if you're using the free version of the account, then everything you create using this app will be public by default and you cannot change it. So other people can view your art, like them, etc. And you can also get famous on this website if you make cool arts every single day and other people will like your art, will follow you. And this way you will be able to generate your own community here. Up next, we have AI canvas option, which we can use to edit one of these pictures. Like for example, if I go back and select one of the images we have just generated, you can see there is an option where it says edit in canvas. If I click that, it will open it up for me here. And you can use these tools to either erase some part of that or maybe draw a mask. Like masking is really cool. Like for example, if I select any of these areas and then you can write a prompt. Like I can say, I want the masked area to have some smoke there. Once you click on the generate button, it is gonna do some processing and based upon your prompt, it's gonna give you four examples out of which you can choose from or either reject. Okay, this is how you can use the mask tool. You can give it a prompt and ask it to do something on the image. Well, of course, you wouldn't ask it to add some smoke on a tree, so it wouldn't probably work. But you can also use this sketch tool to draw something. Like if I just sketch it here. As you can see, it has converted the drawing to be a part of that tree. And here are some examples of that. So you can choose whichever is more perfect or suitable to your needs. Like for me, this one looks really good apart from others. And this one also looks good as it seems like this part has become part of the other tree behind that. And if you also see this one, it makes this one whole so the other one is hidden. And both of these are usable in my opinion. And we can simply click on the accept button to accept those results. There you could see the changes a while ago before the original and this one. Now since that has been done, you can download this artwork or you can save it and replace it to the original. And you can also upload an image from your computer or from previous generations. Like let me show you an example. Like here I will select this image. See, you can also make a combination of these images. You can crop that. You can put it somewhere on this artwork, within this artwork. And then you can simply adjust your image dimensions to match both of these artworks correctly. Like this one seems suitable here, so we can use it. And as you can see, you can add multiple artworks here. You can make a combination, a collage. And you can do a lot of things here, which is a really nice feature. Right now that we are done with the canvas, I'm just gonna exit the editor. And no, I do not want to save because this was just to show you how this is done. Right now we're back here again. If we go back to personal feed and select an image, you can see that you can either share it to your friends by copying the link, you can download the artwork. You can also remove the background, like if it was a single character image, you could remove the background by selecting this button. And there is another cool option, which is image to image. 
basically you can create more versions of the same image by creating this like if you really like an image which you have made for example if you have created an image which you really like you can use this option to create multiple versions of that and another option which is here is smooth upscale if you think the resolution in your image is low you can upscale it using this it will also charge five tokens from you and as you can see an upscale requested your request to upscale this image has been received meaning after a while it will be upscaled for you at the cost of those five tokens as you can see we had 80 tokens before and now we are left with only 75 tokens well that was it for today's video hope that was really helpful to you guys also you should definitely check out this video leave a like subscribe and thanks for watching